Hello, welcome to another edition of Cooking with Casey. Today we are going to make an easy Italian ziti. So kind of like a baked ziti recipe, um, but just with a little healthier twist, uh, maybe some different ingredients than you're used to. Um, so that's what we're gonna make today. So um, some basic ingredients. I've got a pound of ground beef. Now this is lean ground beef. This is like a 93.7. So super lean, not a lot of fat on it at all. So we're probably not gonna have to drain the fat off of this meat. Um, if you were to cook a um, less lean um, cut, then you would probably have to drain the grease off of it. And then we've got some spaghetti sauce, some Plano, um, no salt added spaghetti sauce to make it just a little healthier. Uh, we've got some penne pasta. Um, this is whole wheat pasta, okay? So it's a good time to try some whole wheat out. Um, just that. We've got some mozzarella cheese, some cottage cheese, a little Parmesan cheese, um, an egg, and some garlic powder and um, Parmesan flakes. Um, and that's basically it. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn my skillet on, get that going, and I'm going to add in my pound of ground beef. Okay. And then get it chopped up. You also want to make sure that before you start, you go in and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Um, this will go into the oven once we've got all the things combined, just to get that cheese all melty and be super yummy. Okay, put that broke up and that starts to cook. We're just going to cook this until it's brown, of course. We don't want any pink remaining of our ground beef, right? We want to cook it thoroughly so that we don't get any um, food contamination, anything like that. So we want to make sure that it's cooked fully. Um, and once it's cooked, we're actually going to just add our spaghetti sauce into the skillet with it and um, cook it until the spaghetti sauce is warmed through. So while that's um, warming, I'm going to go on and work on our other part of this. So I've got two cups of cottage cheese, and this is a low-fat cottage cheese. This is a 1% fat. So I'm gonna put my two cups in our bowl. Get one in there. Now obviously before I started, I went on and cooked our pasta, because nobody wants to sit here and watch me cook pasta, right? So I have already cooked that. Let me give this a stir. Just making sure that that ground beef is chopped up really finely. Okay, so to my cottage cheese, I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Okay, that's in there. I'm also gonna add my egg in there. So this is just one beaten egg. Okay. And then I'm gonna add my two tablespoons of, or two teaspoons of um, dried parsley and then my garlic powder. Okay. Add that in there. Okay. Give that a mix. All right. Got that ready to go there. My ground beef, another stir here. Make sure that we're getting all the sides cooked. You don't want it to be burnt on one side and pink on the other. So we've got to make sure it stays stirred up. One of those recipes that just smells good right from the get-go with the cooking of the ground beef and the garlic powder the spaghetti sauce it just smells super yummy already this is a great dish things like this are typically a crowd pleaser so if you're feeding one or ten you know you can make most people happy with a dish like this 
also an easy dish if you're cooking for just one or two that you could half the recipe and make a smaller portion of it. Or you can have it to eat for a couple nights. Okay, with that finishing cooking, I'm gonna go on and add my ziti, or my penne. If you use ziti or penne, I use penne. I'm gonna go on and add it in here. Since it's been sitting for just a second, I'm gonna go on and use my hands to dip it in there. Um, just because I want to make sure that it's not sticking together or anything. And um, if you'll notice, there's a little extra water in there. Um, I reserved some of the pasta water after I cooked it so that in transport, it wouldn't stick together. So I'm gonna give this a good toss. All right, just making sure that ziti is worked in really well with that other mixture. Okay, that's good there. Okay, so I can give this another stir. Like this because I can do that while this is cooking and so it doesn't take nearly as much time. going to give my pan a spray. So I've just got a 9 by 13 inch baking dish. So I'm just going to spray it generously to make sure that our baked ziggy doesn't stick to any of the corners. Okay. Ground beef is almost ready to go. So it's just a few little pink spots. This one for my spoon. Oh. Now that you guys can hear that awesome sizzle coming from that ground beef. All right. I think our ground beef is just about ready. start to add in my spaghetti sauce here. This is just a plain spaghetti sauce. Um, feel free to, to use whatever you like. Um, again, just for keeping the sodium levels down, um, this is a no salt added. The easy way to cut out some extra sodium in your life is to purchase no salt added tomato products. They're sneaky how they add all of that stuff in with those kind of dishes. All right. So let me give this a big stir. So I want to make sure that all that ground beef is getting incorporated. All right. We're just going to let that hang out for a minute and let that sauce warm. It won't take very long for it to warm because our skillet's already warm. We're gonna to start to build our dish. So I'm gonna take our nine by 13 pan and move it over here so it's closer to the skillet. Okay. And I'm gonna go on and layer in um, some of the sauce mixture. This is our ground beef and our spaghetti sauce. So here's what the sauce together. Okay, so now we'll just start we're gonna start with about a cup of this. So we're just gonna kind of smooth that over the bottom. Turn this skillet down. Start with Talk sizzle. about the sizzle, I can hear the sizzle. Okay, so that's the first part. And then we're gonna spoon some of the ziti mixture. And over top of that. A 
Like my stomach's a growling. Smells so good. It does smell good. All right, now we're going to add in our mozzarella cheese. It calls for about a cup, so I'm gonna give it like a nice handful there. And then we're gonna come back with another layer Kind of like a lasagna. It is kind of like a lasagna. Everybody loves dishes like that, especially they're good comfort food. Good comfort food. Get into this time of year when it's cold outside, and it's nothing like having some good old yummy pasta, warm dish, and a cold night. That's true. Yeah, this is this is a lasagna without the fuss. Yes, right. Lasagna, lasagna can, is kind of time consuming. It can be and, and expensive to make as well. If you make a you know a really big one or something, so this is this is a super easy. Oh, that in there, mm, yummy goodness. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tip this over so I can make sure we get every last drop of that mixture in there. Okay. Cover up all the little holes. It smells good. You can smell the garlic and stuff in it now. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'm just going to take our rest of our ziti mixture. We're going to layer that. This will go a long way. <laughs> All right, and so I'm just going to spread this out, making sure that it's. Now, could you freeze this if you had too much? I don't know that this would freeze well. I'm not sure how the pasta would do, but I mean, if you covered it with some foil and did leave it in there too long, it would probably be okay. All right, now we're going to top with the rest of our cheese. Be good night like, to have a cook something like this and have a neighbor or somebody else over and, and enjoy a meal together. All right, so watch a football game. Yeah, let's top with the rest of our cheese there. Now, this is going to go in our oven. Remember, we've already preheated our oven to 350 degrees, so this is going to go into that oven and it is going to cook for um, 30 minutes uncovered. So, we'll pop this in the oven and um, cook it for 30 minutes uncovered. Um, and it'd be ready to go for us. After 30 minutes in the oven, this is what your easy Italian ziti should look like. You want to let it rest for about five minutes before serving. I hope you enjoy.